Test, 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 test. Hell yeah, we got audio. We have audio. All righty. Perfect. Uh, all right. So we start in two minutes. So that's cool. Um, I reckon people will be able to hear me. So that's neat. Uh, audio works. That works. That should work. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, da, da, da. Weird. Welcome to the uh, Wayne State College Black League of Legends team versus JWU Wildcats. This is the uh, semifinals of the ECAC League of Legends competition. I am your wonderful host, uh, Jeb, here. I am a Hearthstone player and know next to nothing about League, so we will be learning the, uh, the game together and having the most expert of comms. In the background, you may be picking up um, a few other background noises. That would likely be um, our Valorant team or our League team. This is a populated den, and it is the best streaming space we have. Um, so yes, we will get back to you as soon as the game starts. Until then, please enjoy our wonderful graphic here.
the uh, first match is beginning. Again, I can't show you more than the gameplay, but the banning process has started. Uh, da -da, let's see here. Um, it is 2 o'clock Central Time here in lovely Wayne, Nebraska. Uh, cool 50 degrees with a light breeze and 30% chance of precipitation. <laughs> Uh, it's looking like a great day for a wonderful league match. <laughs> uh, earlier today, uh, yep, we have our Valorant people in the background. If you can pick them up, they are enjoying the weather as well. Um, it is very important to have a nice day out if you're going to be playing league in the rain. Um, however, we do have a wonderful indoor den here. Uh, weather's not a terrible concern, but it is great for the mood of the players to uh, keep that lovely. Um, I'm going to be doing my best to learn the names of the characters who people are playing. Um, simply put, I don't know them, and that has caused uh, harm for my, my comms previously. So, yep, we should have a, a wonderful stream ready for you here in the next uh, three, four minutes, looking like it. All of my knowledge of Dota 2 comes from uh, the lovely, or all of my knowledge of League of Legends, excuse me, comes from the lovely game Dota 2. Similar to League of Legends, it's a uh, real-time tower defense 5v5 game. Um, so the one one gap in my knowledge becomes the um, the specific mechanics of League, uh, the character names, their abilities, whatnot. Um, uh, yep, uh, it looks like the, the Wayne State team is going to be on the left this game uh, with the W uh, with the JWU on the right. Um, should be interesting, and it looks like the game is going to be starting here in two minutes. So look forward to that.
in one minute up here, the the stream will begin. Uh, uh, recruit main twenty eight. Uh, pleased to meet you. Um, I would think that Dota is actually more fun than League, but I don't get to commentate for Dota, so here we are. Um, yeah, it'll be it'll be a good time, I think. Um, really, not a ton to talk about before the game that you're commentating on starts, but. You know how that is. So just hanging out here, talking to my wonderful audience, who is giving feedback with, in all honesty, uh, no no backing for it. But here we are. Um, how are you doing today? So we are going to have a uh, minor delay here. Um, JWU's uh, set up their computers here have uh, had a technical issue, so we are paused until that can be resolved. Uh, please hold tight, and we will see uh, see how this goes. So uh, just to take a look here at um, what everyone's running. Uh, at the top here, we have um, the Wayne team in blue. Oh, there we are. Uh, our left side over here is the Wayne team, and our right side over here is our um, JSU, or JWU, excuse me. Um, the, the game is paused again. Um, reason for this being technical issues. Uh, paused right at three seconds before anyone spawns in, so there's not a ton to look at. Uh, but yep, we, we shall see. Hopefully the, uh, technical issues here do not get in the way of our, um, our game today. And, uh, JWU can get that resolved quickly, and we can get right back to the game. It uh, looks like the game will resume shortly. Um, they've resolved their issue and are just waiting to reconnect back to the game. The summoner has reconnected. So there they are, back in the game. And, uh, yep. Should be great.
So, uh, the game has just begun here. Um, everyone has rejoined. Welcome uh, to Summoner's Rift. We've got three over here. Uh, trying to see if they can get a early game game kill on Galaxy Gun. And yeah, just general uh, stagnation. Uh, no one crossing this middle, middle river here yet. Uh, waiting to see if someone does. Obviously, that that kill early in the round is a a big deal. Uh, early in the game, excuse me. First round of the game, but yeah. Uh, we shall see. Uh, this will be my first time doing a uh, manual manual camera, so if I miss things, please let me know. Uh, you do have access to the mini map here. And I will do my best to uh, keep the game interesting, informed, commentated, and, uh, well, enjoyable for you, the viewer. Uh, hiding in a bush, waiting to see if, if someone pushes through here. And looks like they're both just going to get a uh, red buff and a blue buff here. Uh, important, helps the champion uh, do their thing more happily. Uh, and yeah, both teams are going for a similar strategy. Uh, chosen their jungler. Uh, Centaur and Barrel Boy. Uh, and then they've, they've, yep, the lines have kind of been drawn here. Quick back and forth, but no one's really going to be dying until someone dives tower. There is already a level difference here on mid and yep not uh, a ton to talk about here in the early game uh, there might be a pick actually down here at bot if they can get there we go um, level gap has been uh, solved here and it looks like our jungler is backing for whatever reason here uh, that will be a, a big deal for bottom. Um, their, their spooky orb lady will be a whole level behind the rest of the people down here. And that will likely allow our uh, Wayne State team at bot to do some more pushing. Um, junglers doing jungle things. And over here at mid, it looks like uh, Kegman is coming in to get a kill. And that will will be a, a double team on uh, Hammerman. Uh, down here at bottom, uh, lines are being held steady. And then the jungler again from uh, Wayne State has tried to do exactly what happened on mid, and they're succeeding, taking minimal damage from the tower here. The mid player is coming up to try to punish that with the jungler, and it looks like they will get away with that, forcing Axeman to retreat back to the tower. Uh, he does get there, and it looks like he is safe and he'll be backing. Uh, as of right now, the... Hold on, I'm going to put the scoreboard up, if I can find it. Just a second, please. Um, to answer your question there in chat, I, uh, I don't know how League works, uh, in the, in the simplest answer there. 
I'm not entirely sure how to fiddle with the um, the spectator settings. If someone in chat does know how, I would love to hear it to improve the quality of the stream. But uh, as it is right now, I cannot set on uh, camp timers, change the camera thing, or uh, get us a scoreboard up at the top. So this is the world we live in, and it is up to you to make that world a better place. Really, really, that's uh, the way it is for everyone. Uh, popping orbs and doing things in jungle over here. Uh, still pretty, pretty standard. We're not to the late game point yet. Uh, punching a large frog. Poor frog. Um, yeah. It looks like the jungler is going to be trying to get a pick up here on their top lane. And the other jungler is coming in to maybe balance that out. Uh, mid lane is here as well. One pick for Wayne State Hearthstone. Picks off the jungler, does lose their own jungler. And that is a two for two trade. Let's see if Hammerman can trade with his mid laner. Uh, burns his flash there. It looks like he cannot. Um, bot lane is still doing bot lane things. Um, down here, it does look like the, the spawn timers are happening. I am going to give you the bot lane and go back to check the chat here. Um, see if anyone has been helpful. No, sadly not. All of you there in the chat uh, don't know how to work League either, it would appear. Um, it looks like the jungler here is coming in to try to shake up bottom lane. Uh, they'll likely get one pick off of this, but they'll... Oh! They are willing to push under tower for it. That could give... That does give Wayne State the ability to trade. Uh, their jungler comes in as well. Ah! Uh, the... The world has been open to us yet again. Um, here we have... Uh, the... Alright, um, we have figured out how the game works yet again. Uh, um, we are going to go back to manual camera because I'm having fun with it. And yeah. Uh, cool 7-7, seven to seven. Um, levels are pretty even across the board, um, and we've gone back to, to holding the lines with the jungler trying to make another play down here at bot. Um, he does take a kill, and Wayne State uh, pushes him off again. Uh, they don't want to deal with their jungler and the tower, that's a lot of damage at this stage in the game. And yep, uh, Kegman is just running back, harasses a poor baby dragon here. Um, and it looks like the teams are converging on that, um, making plays with that. Uh, Wayne State's gonna try to get a pick here. Um, they are, oh, they are going to get that, but it might cost them their own jungler here. And if they can trade the other jungler off, it'll be a great time for them, and there it goes. Uh, that is bringing the score 9 to 11. Um, with three Wayne State people dead here, um, and then JWU uh, respawning here. They could take the dragon if they wanted to. Uh, they might not have the damage between the two of them, however. Uh, we have all five players, all ten players, back on the field. The slow uh, push from Axe Man up here at top, uh, pulling him in, hitting him around. Down here at bottom, it looks like there is something sneaky. Um, going to try to get a pick here. Wayne State is able to run back into the tower, but that is three of the players here. Um, going for the bug is our top player. Um, he might be able to solo that. And then it does look like JWU is going to go for the dragon here. Um, let's see. Wayne State trying to push him off. Um, maybe buying time, but they might be able to get a pick here. 
the junglers have traded. Um, and there are two large sheep going back and forth. And yes, it's looking like that uh, attempt to delay from Wayne to kill the dragon here uh, is going to backfire, leaving three of their team members dead. Uh, DW is going for the dragon now. Um, Wayne, Wayne's little hammerman was able to kill the little bug here. Um, he's no longer there. And yeah, again, the dragon goes down without any uh, any contention. Um, in response to that, Wayne has summoned their own bug, uh, the child of what they had once killed. Uh, the line is holding back here on mid, and it is not... Well, it's still pretty close for both teams, um, money-wise, but the KDA is definitely in favor of uh, JWU. Um, let's see. Nothing um, terribly interesting to speak about. Wayne might be able to get a pick here on mid. Uh, they have two people going. Um, and no, he uses his mobility to get out of there. Um, one second here. Alrighty, um, we are back. Um, nothing terribly interesting has happened. Um, yep. Down here at bottom, we've got uh, the two players again being sneaky, trying to get a pick here. Uh, Wayne sees their visibility orb and decides to leave. Up here at top, there's a fight going on. Um, the guy who was able to kill the little uh, little dude boy by himself has been taken out by the juggler as well as um, their their top laner uh, that does bring the score 9 to 16 and that is not great for Wayne uh, they are outnumbered here at bottom no they are outnumbering them here at bottom excuse me uh, let's see at mid we've got the same contention again and Pretty soon here, Wayne is going to need to start getting some more kills, uh, pushing the objectives a little harder, because if they don't, they're just going to get um, out-leveled and steamrolled. Uh, down here at bottom, they are backing, and at mid, there is a another engagement here. Uh, turret plating will be going down here at... 15 or 14 minutes. Again, not terribly familiar with the game. Uh, we've got two on mid, pushing back their mid player. And uh, the jungler is coming in, maybe trying to play for a pick here if he can. But in general, we're not going to see a ton of back and forth, except maybe up here at top where the uh, bug was summoned. Uh, still missing both dragons. And down here at bottom, off of the uh, turret plating falling. The JWU has decided to take a push, uh, push back off of it. And then here at mid, Wayne looks like they're going to be able to punish the jungler. They really needed to get that done. Uh, they're not going to keep pushing off of that, I don't believe. And JWU is just going to fall off of that as they've lost their jungler and uh, main source of DPS. Uh, kill wise, it is 10 to 17. And uh, down here. Um, looks like Wayne's been caught, and they are able to push back. Um, they do get the pick off, and they force the other bottom player to burn their flash here. Um, she vulnerable, uh, invulnerables, and there she goes. Uh, that's, that's the kind of thing that Wayne State's going to need to get back into the game here. Uh, level their guys back up, and eventually push off. Um... Uh, Axeman down here playing bait. 
Uh, Hammerman still holding mid. There is an invisible character running at him, and he just decides to move back to the tower and not contest that. Uh, based on the damage you're doing, that's probably a good choice. As he waits for uh, Mortarian, I believe. Is that the correct name? Tell me I'm wrong in the chat. Um, Wayne is deciding whether or not they want to back off or try to hold against the, the jungler, who has been a threat in most of this early game. Uh, let's take a look. Up here, uh, JWS, JWU is pushing. Hammerman is making his presence felt on mid. And it looks like the dragon fight is continuing to go on with Wayne holding it this time, and they are able to take that. Um, Red here was not able to take it away from them, despite how much they tried, and no kills were exchanged there. Um, so that is one stinky dragon to one uh, rocky dragon uh, in favor. Well, no favor there. It's 1-1. It's one -one. Up here at top, the uh, little idiots are punching the tower, and Axeman has decided to stop him. He pops his ult there. Uh, two people are backing, likely to purchase things. Um, unlike Dota 2, League of Legends does not have a courier system, which is one of the many reasons why Dota is a vastly superior game. Um, over here, the Bugman is getting attacked by the entirety of Red Team, actually. Um, blue team, it appears, has decided that they're not going to really mount a resistance and let them get that extermination contract. Um, they're likely going to push off of this and try to take top tower or move down top tower in some way. And uh, Wayne State does not have a ton to, to stop with that. Um, yeah, their top tower had fallen earlier. And, wow, it looks like um, Wayne is going to try to back here. Uh, maybe get a, pit, a kill or two. And, no, um, that's just red team running up the top lane. They have taken a, a reasonable amount of damage across their heroes, and as such, they are backing. Uh, heal up, get their items, spend their money. Um... Uh, Hammerman is trying to hold top, but it looks like this push is going to keep going until the uh, the rest of their group here can come back to stop it. This bug is quite unhappy. His father was murdered, remember, uh, not three minutes ago. And because of that, he had to take out his aggression on the entire top lane, it would appear. Uh, Wayne is trying to counter push. They know that the uh, red team here is going to be backing. Uh, and it is uh, two towers in favor of red team to uh, just... Oh, they've taken the bottom tower. Excuse me for missing that. Tower count is the same. It will be um, a hassle to try to defend the top so that your uh, barracks back here don't die. But Wayne is pushing right up the middle. Uh, this is going to be dangerous for them. Uh, they are $2,000 behind and their team is separated where much of the, the red team is all together in the same spot, which uh, is going to cause their Wayne's jungler, uh, Centaur Lady, to get caught out here. And potentially, unless Hammerman can come and help her, just murder. Hammerman is taking his trades here, and at the same time, there's a fight going on at mid. Uh, so far, just one for one, but it's looking like and there it is. Hammerman uh, does work at uh, trading away Keg Boy, Bomb Man. Um, and that brings the score to 15-20 uh, with uh, s uh, identical gold earned as well. Um, Centaur Lady is looking for Hammerman, or for Keg Man, and he gets caught out and killed. Uh, that, is, that is exactly what Wayne needs here. Uh, they're going around, killing little, little, uh, revealing wards. Uh, continuing their push up mid. Uh, being able to stop the enemy from defending there is a pretty big deal. And if they're able to, uh, stop Cowman, Sheep Boy as he is, they should be able to take Middle Tower and no, uh, there, there's reinforcements coming here. At the same time, uh, Jungler is stopping the push on bottom. And Wayne is backing to purchase their items because, again, they lack couriers, which is simply tragic. 
Uh, let's see what the chat has to say because I have been sitting in the game for a bit here. Oh, thank you, Chaos Fury 3. Uh, it was a struggle. I had help. Uh, back here, uh, more jungling, obviously. Uh, jungle Man does as Jungle Man do. Uh, waiting for dragons. And stopping the push up top is Sheep Man again. And at mid is really where we want to be focusing on. Uh, we do have a fair few uh, unhappy youth here fighting each other. Uh, yep, there goes a Wayne down. Can they trade off of it? Mitch does get his kill here, uh, volleying off a player. And it... maybe. They don't really want to dive the tower here, but they are able to sleep up. And then uh, Cowman, again, the healthy juggernaut that he is, cannot tank the damage here. That is a uh, four kill for Wayne, and that is going to allow them to take Dragon to, to push up here, if they so desire and have uh, uncontested control of the board for probably the next 5-10 seconds here. Uh, that is a water dragon. And now they are murdering wildlife. Crazy what people choose to do with freedom. Um, up here, red team is choosing to stop the push from the little idiots. Wayne is backing to purchase their things, and taking a dragon is a great way to capitalize on a four-piece. Um, Everyone is back alive, but the, the pace of the game is changing in favor of Wayne right now. They still have a pretty open top lane here, a reasonably damaged bottom lane, and mid lane is the one that they're looking to contest. Uh, Jungle Man is, with his kegs, is no longer as um, emboldened just to run in and try to get kills. We have reached the stage of the game where being out alone is certainly a bad idea. And hanging out with your, your good friends is almost mandatory given the damage and uh, health that the enemy team presents. You need those well-rounded moves. Another large mid-fight. Uh, this leading um, JAWU to get a pick here. Uh, maybe two. If he can get away. No, he could not. Three. Uh, and they're likely going to push up mid with this. Although they are missing a fair bit of health here. Wayne does only have two of their people alive. Um, and no, it looks like they're going to try to get another extermination contract. This one on a much larger bug. Um, and a, again, a great way to capitalize on killing off your opponents is taking those extermination contracts. And there goes uh, Mr. Baron. Uh, Wayne pops an ult here with uh, Big Axeman and takes a kill, looks for a second, but gets surrounded and uh, eventually murdered there. He does. He is able to, to break them apart, and they do have uh, Red Team here. Had to pop Baron buff. Um, so at least Wayne's not going to have to worry about that in the near future, but Red Team probably would have really liked to push off of that here. Um, back in to get more items. And yeah, they're not going to contest under the tower. They're just going to put some damage into it. Um, and that's mid tower down. Um, both teams are going to be at full strength here, here uh, right now. Uh, it is again 21 to 25, contesting mid. Um, Hammerman is going about bottom for whatever reason. And Jungle Keg Mister is breaking revealing orbs and just hanging about. Uh, Baron buff is still going, so this is not a not a group that Wayne wants to fight here in uh, any sense of the word. Uh, it looks like we are waiting for Dragon to respawn here. Uh, should be pretty soon. Two minutes. Uh, little fight up here. Jungle Lady uh, contesting Kegman. Uh, a fight we've seen a few times, but has always gone in favor of Kegman uh, in the 1v1s, but he knows that Wayne is not working alone, and he uh, retreats back to his side of the river. Down here at bottom, uh, Sheepman, with his Baron buff, is likely going to be pushing this bottom tower here, and we are going to maybe have a fight here at mid in a second. Uh, 
we have 3v3, but remember our three red team here has uh, Baron buff going on. Down here, Hammer tries to push off uh, Sheep. Doesn't work. And seeing those three people there, uh, Wayne decides to back. Um, yep, it looks like it's going to be another uh, big fight over Dragon here in 50 seconds. Uh, getting three dragons puts you two ahead of your opponent, who only is one dragon, and assumedly gives you uh, nice buffs. Uh, Wayne looking for a pick here. Sheep man knocks the sheep back. And yet yeah, there we go. That's one for Wayne, two for Wayne, and they are running after a third, it would look like. Uh, this, again, is a great time to fight as dragons spawning here in 26 seconds. And it looks like that's exactly where Wayne's meaning to go. Um, Sheepman here might have the intention to fight that, or disrupted at least. And uh, Sneaky Wisp Lady, who, again, if you remember, was previously playing on mid, might be looking to come over here and either uh, steal it or disrupt Wayne's game plan. Uh, putting down enough traps to slow the opponents, and going after Drake number three. Uh, with three players down, red team decides not to contest it, and that is that is all three dragons for Wayne. Uh, they back to purchase things, obviously, and they're likely going to continue to push off of this. Um, at this stage in the game, with three dragons to one, it is looking good for Wayne. But remember, um, both teams have lost a fair few towers, and that'll require. Quick reactions to protect yourself from just losing to a push, to a counter push. Um, again, Wayne, knowledgeable of this, um, is sniping creeps to get to their end, while red team is uh, lurking to maybe get a kill here. Um, and get a kill, it looks like they will. Um, there it goes. Uh, jungle centaur lady is killed. Baron will be back in uh, two minutes here. Uh, Wayne killing information gathering wards here. Uh, and continuing to uh, fight here. They do not get the kill, but they get pretty close. And yeah, it's, it's a pretty close game here right now. 24 to 27, Wayne has been able to clear that up, but JSU still has a an advantage here um, in kills and in money, but they do not have the dragons to back that up. Uh, both teams very conscious about uh, letting letting little idiots build up at all. Uh, get enough of them and you can't answer it when you're in a fight, and then you, you end up losing a tower. Not what you want. Uh, they notice the, the revealing boys here. Um, they're not going to take that fight. They're just looking to hold mid, probably for the next 40 seconds. Um, wanting to fight on their own terms, maybe get an advantage to work on the next extermination contract. Uh, which is coming here in 30 seconds. Um, Barshan Narshush, who will be right here. Um, and it looks like that's exactly what they're itching for. Um, another fight here. Red team, uh, loath to give it to him after last time, however, um, is probably going to push the engagement over here where they do have those uh, revealing sentinels and are ready to um, punish Wayne if they decide to push in. Uh, here in four seconds, and we shall see. Uh, again, just holding the lines, both teams know that if they extend too far, uh, they will they will get punished, and it looks like Wayne is going for Baron here. Uh, fighting against Kegman, uh, the rest of the team will be coming in. They really don't want to fight uh, this big tube man unless they have a pick to go off of, as they can get punished pretty easily from that. Uh, teams are grouping again. You've got jungler doing jungle things. Jungler doing jungle things. At top, Sheepman is continuing his uh, build up and push. Wayne is thinking about taking Baron, um, but again, they're not confident to do that unless they have um, a pick or two. And they're trying to force a fight here by engaging Rampman up here at top. Uh, forcing Red Team to come up, but it looks like they will be too slow. And they're gonna just 
Throw some haymakers, see how this engagement goes. A um, lot going on here, Wayne's lost one, and the red team's lost two. Looking to be three if they can run him down. Uh, maybe four, but this is the fight we want to watch up here. Uh, pops his little idol, and there we go. That's a four kill for Wayne. That should allow them to uh, push big tube man here, get that buff. They are down two people, but it looks like they're confident they have the DPS to fight him. Um, and yeah, JWU can only sit and watch, uh, hanging out at mid. Uh, lots of deaths up here, lots of sadness, and Baron will go down without any contesting from uh, JWU. Uh, now Wayne has the extermination contract in their corner, and they will likely try to push off of that. Um, they are also acknowledging that Dragon will be respawning here if they can burn that Baron buff, which they have and contest dragon really quick. Uh, that's four dragons to one, which is a, a great way to get ahead in getting those extermination contracts. Uh, some chip damage here. Again, they are pretty low, but they're, they're hanging out at dragon, removing that visibility, and red team really needs to contest this, and that's exactly what they're doing. Uh, one person's out of position, they get slaughtered. Lots of damage going around here. Uh, Looking like, yep, um, 30 to 30, uh, red team is all low, um, and that is, that is gonna be two, two people down for Wayne, three people down for red. They are backing, but Wayne is more concerned with getting that dragon, and get that dragon, they, they will. That is three, three water dragons, um, and that's, that's, uh, they're, Full set there. Red is a little low, but they the kills are tied. They've missed the last four extermination contracts. Wayne has three dragons, and they are in a commanding position here. Uh, in 15 seconds, both teams will be full strength again, uh, doing their purchasing, their healing, and we will see uh, how the fights move on from here, but Wayne is definitely at that nice healthy advantage with uh, blue dragon blue buff. Uh, they still have Baron going on, interestingly enough. Uh, that definitely helped them win their fights over here at, uh, at Water Dragon. And right now, red team for, uh, for a change is on the defensive. Uh, just hanging back, sniping creeps, and staying safe, staying in a group. Should be, should be interesting to see here. Uh, one second, please. Alright, we are back just in time. Uh, Wayne blue team here is grouping up in red territory. Um, this gives them the ability to be surrounded. They can't really fight all of the, the reveal things. And they're just looking for people out of place. Uh, they find one. Um, and again, with that, with those three dragons, they're just going to heal the damage they take and be able to walk through. Uh, look at Jungle Lady's health just go up and up. And that is a... That is a Four, four kill for blue team with no losses. Um, at this stage of the game, it's going to be very hard for red team to get back in. Um, we'll see how it goes for them. Um, they're trying to put out damage, trying to hold them back, but with four people dead, um, for being out of place or just getting engaged, it's not looking great. They really need to, to hold back, try to get some kills, and then push off of that. But if you look how fast those towers are melting, it's it's going to be hard to stop this damage. Um, Wayne is just running around, taking all of the, um, the wildlife again. Terrible for the ecology, but worse for red team. Um, and red is just desperately trying to push him off here while blue strikes every single one of their towers, uh, confining them really to their own little home zone. 
both teams are at full strength again, but for the first time this game since the very beginning, Wayne is up in kills. Uh, potentially planning to contest a Baron or a Dragon here. Or just, just waiting for a red team to try to push into him. Um, but yeah. Backing again. Uh, just to purchase things, they did get a fair amount of money with that fight. And likely readying for the uh, the Bayern engagement here in the next uh, minute, minute 20. Um, just looking across at levels, they are very similar, but money-wise, Wayne is now up 6,000 V-Bucks, uh, or coin bucks. Team gold, which is a pretty big deal here. Um, yeah, we'll see how the engagements go, but... It's looking like Wayne State has this one, this first game here, uh, in the semifinals. Playoffs, quarterfinals, where are we? Um, yeah. But yeah, um, red team trying to play it really safe, uh, knowing that Wayne has the advantage at this stage, and just, I really wanted him not to get to this point. <laughs> Um, but it, we'll see how this shapes out. Uh, another big fight here at mid, although, you know, with all these stunts, there we go, one, one pick each side, two picks for our red team here, um, and it's looking like they are going to force them off. Um, lots of stunts being thrown about, lots of damage. Uh, that is three dead for Wayne, although... JWU does have a lot of health missing from their players. Three people at less than 50% uh, there. Uh, they're going to keep trying to push it. And that's that's four down. Um, pretty good trade for JSU. JWU. Uh, 38 to 35 now. Uh, looking to make it. And no, they, they push with that low health. And they are able to punish them. Uh, Sheep Man is trying to take the fight and he misses it. Um, Hammer Man wipes a whole team. Uh, one second, please. And it looks like the uh, Elder Dragon, uh, not to be confused with a middle aged or young dragon, will be spawning right here. And with the whole red team dead, Rain is going to go for that. What he offers, I'm not sure, but he looks big, important, and quite honestly, a little scary. Uh, and there he goes. Um, the MVP of these last three minutes has definitely been a hammer man right here. Uh, big deal to kill off those three low health players and get that dragon buff. And now it looks like they're going to push bear and uh, close out the game here. Uh, Red team might try to contest this, but at this point, with um, Elder buff, with, with the levels being one too higher across the board, it's not looking good. Um, at this stage in the game, Wayne has almost ten thousand more dollars, um, and they're just gonna walk up. They're just walking through here. Red team can't really engage without suffering uh, or risking pretty terrible losses, which will end the game as well. Um, just taking pot shots across, lowering health. No real engagement quite yet. Trying to get some stunts, trying to get some uh, some pulls, get people out of place. But it's, it's just not enough. Um, one goes down for red. Wayne falls back, heals. And all the while, the buildings are falling. This looks like the end of the game here. Another, yep, it's, that's a four piece and that will be the game there uh, for game one going to Wayne State College here. Uh, we will be right back after a brief intermission. Uh, thanks for stopping by and we will have our next game ready for you in a second.
So, uh, yeah, uh, recap on the first game. Um, I don't know. Uh, JW had the had the early game, uh, but Wayne's Heroes just, Wayne State College Heroes, just kind of outscaled them there. And in the end, um, a few well-timed uh, team fights, uh, nice three, four pieces, four kills, uh, ended with uh, Wayne snagging the dragon buffs, getting the extermination contracts on uh, the big bugs on the left side, and closing out the game towards the end. So we are going to be uh, moving on to game two here. Uh, game two of the semifinals, of course. Uh, should be a very contested game. We will see if we get to go to a, a lovely game three. Uh, if anyone has any anything that they'd like to see, uh, at least from me, uh, with my color commentating, with uh, camera motion and whatnot, uh, please let me know in the chat. I am always looking to improve and uh, get better here. Uh, regardless of how much knowledge I may or may not have about the game. Um, but yes, it should be a, a lovely time. Um, the lobby is being made right now, and we will likely get into the game in um, probably around 7 to 10 minutes here uh, from when you hear me say this, with that, that three-minute delay and the whole uh, the process of choosing your characters, banning the character, all, all the good things that go into to starting a game. Um, but yeah, we we have fun here, and if you want to see something different from me, please uh, let me know, and I'll hear it from you, well, three minutes from when I say it, or right after, right after you say it, as it were. Um, that's a lovely part of having a, a stream delay. Uh, you don't get to hear what people say, and you don't get the feedback from me until <laughs> a fair bit after it's said. Um, personally, all of my, my knowledge about League uh, comes from Dota. Um, the gameplay style, the uh, just the objective pushing. Uh, the one thing I lack is uh, proper knowledge of the game. Uh, character names, items, um, all that kind of thing. So that is, that is something I'll work on as I continue to stream in the future. And that will come with just uh, watching the game, learning the game, playing the game. Uh, but in general, uh, commentary-wise, people people tend to enjoy at least having something going over the game. And by the end of this, if you can't stand to hear my voice, uh, I've done my job well, I reckon. Uh, but yes, we should have our next game up here in uh, in a few minutes.
So the uh, the league teams are taking advantage of their their allotted intermission time. Um, but yeah, we we shall see um, see how well this next game goes. Um, it should be an interesting one, uh, given how close that last game was right up until the end. Um, with red team having the having the ability to turn it around and get that that four piece, but dying to dying to hammer man. Um, we'll see. All right, we have uh, just gotten past our intermission here and are moving uh, into bandings and selections. After that, we will start after our three-minute delay. So we have um, approximately five, six minutes from this time right now to when our next game starts. Uh, character selection wise, um, the only person that we have from last game appears to be um, Sheepman, uh, Oren, I'm told he's called. 
uh, and that is for um, JWU. Uh, outside of that, the the selection here um, would appear to be um, very standard uh, from all of my league knowledge, of course. I know exactly what standard selection is. Um, and, well, the reason for um, so many of the characters missing this time is each team is banned the, the favorite choice, uh, the players who were run last time by the other team, all of those who were, who were somewhat problematic. Uh, so in three minutes here, we will jump right into the game. Um, the, the sides have switched with uh, Wayne State being a red team and blue team being JW. So when I reference that, this is your first and final warning as to which teams those are. You'll also see that in the top left with our little uh, graphics as to who is who. Um, so yes, if there's something I should improve on, drop it in the chat. And we should have a wonderful time here. Alrighty, uh, here we go, jumping right into the game. Uh, no pauses and no delays this time, hopefully. Um, yep, uh, loading right in. Alright, uh, we are starting right up here. Um, again, Wayne State is over here at the top. Um, I'm going to fiddle with the little bits. And there we go. That's Welcome all the things we wanted to see. Uh, so again, we've got the, the whole red team over here waiting for picks, uh, trying to see if they can find a kill um, galaxy gun down here uh, can see Wayne State doing that 
Uh, Wayne burns a flash, and so does Mr. Gun. Uh, we have a lovely bird, uh, robot man, uh, someone with an orb, a scythe, and yep, they are, they're not able to get that initial pick. They are pushing to see if they can get a uh, horse man. And they just decide to, um, to fall back and uh, play normal positions here. Uh, we've got a, a Thresh down here. Uh, Orb Man, as I will be lovingly calling him. Uh, someone with a, a gun, uh, not looking terribly healthy, might want to see a doctor. Uh, certainly that spinning isn't great. And then at mid, uh, we've got the, the jungling happening again. Trying to get blue buff here. Um, actual engagement over here. Uh, trying to deny, deny picks, get kills. Uh, and then the, the same loadout at bottom with um, Scythe Man getting red buff. Uh, the same slow loadout. I'll let you know if we see any uh, anything terribly interesting outside of the casual murder of wildlife and the uh, continual murder of wildlife, actually. Uh, Cowman is again playing top. Lovely sheep there. Um, Thresh is one to look out for. I've been told that he scales quite nicely. Uh, hard to kill if that happens. Uh, popping Util on mid, trying to force each other back and backing off. Uh, Arcane Golem fighting over here. And it looks like uh, there was an attempt to steal the, uh, the red buff over here. That did fail, luckily, for uh, Wayne's Jungler. But boy, would that be devastating if that happened. Uh, one thing to note, um, the, uh, the jungler for JW is out of place here, potentially going to harass mid a little, um, although he is spotted by the reveal thing. Um, they are fighting there, um, nothing terrible exchanged, just, uh, back and forth. They do manage to push the jungler off for now. Um, that will be worth looking out for in the future. Um, it looks like Bot is going to be making an appearance here at mid. Maybe get a pick. Maybe fall back. We shall see. Um, all the time down here. Uh, nothing terribly interesting. And Arcane Man teleports there with mid teleporting back. Uh, and yep, everyone is just, just playing a traditional calm game here. Nice and slow. Uh, on the minimap, you can see the pings going back and forth, each team uh, trying to figure out positioning. Uh, jungler has made an appearance for uh, down here at bottom. Uh, they do get a kill. Uh, and that is uh, the first kill for JSU, JW. Uh, Wayne's Jungler tries to come in and punish it. Uh, it might cost them their other bottomer, but it might be able to get them two picks. And nope, it costs them both their jungler and their bottom. Uh, that puts blue team with uh, a fair bit of momentum right right away here at the beginning. Uh, top and mid are both just, just holding back, punching little idiots. Uh, both here are backing, trying to heal, get some items. Uh, and that is a, a very nice level advantage for uh, JWU here right away into the game. Uh, lots of damage onto the tower. Uh, something that Mitch is going to try to knock off here with his uh, little hitty and bunkies. Um, they, the jungler still hanging out at bottom for JW and there's a chance here that with that momentum, with that little bit of advantage of those three kills got him already, uh, we could see a, a quick push here in the beginning, maybe taking the tower, getting some more picks for a Jabber to you down at bottom. Uh, they do have the visibility, they know what's going on. And mid and top are just content to hang out and chill, with the jungler potentially planning to make a play up here. Uh, we will see. Down here at bottom, uh, another fight's going on here. Wayne is probably going to have to fall back of this. They're trying to pull him out of position, but they don't really have the damage. Meanwhile, at top, um, Sheepman decides to fall off. Uh, yeah, just holding the line here, trying to get some chip damage, maybe for a more favorable fight in the future. 
Uh, Bird decides to back, buy some items, get some more health. Down here, the same fighting going on. Um, both the junglers have decided to fall back to where they belong. And um, we're backing over here as well. Uh, first dragon has just spawned, so we can expect to see either a team moving in for that or uh, trying to get a pick and take that really quick here. Um, killing the visibility orb. And it looks like JW is going to go for that, that first dragon again. Uh, much like we saw in the first game, actually. Uh, Wayne potentially trying to, to find an answer, but probably just choosing not to contend this at all. Uh, just how far we've already gone on the dragon. Again, top lane perfectly content just to hang out. And there's the dragon down. Uh, potentially some fighting for it. No, it's, it's looking like that's just going to be a free dragon for him. Up here at top, um, despite having backed a fair few times, the um, robot man is able to push off uh, cow person. And JW is just sitting on mid. Uh, Wayne State did take the opportunity uh, while JW was fighting the dragon to go back and uh, recuperate, purchase items, maybe make themselves strong for the next fight here. Uh, but yeah, top is not contested. The jungler is back. And it looks like the jungler is actually teleporting back here. Or the cowman is teleporting back. Uh, arcane robot is low on health, so that'll be worthwhile to look at. Um, potentially some fighting here in mid, but definitely an engagement over here. And arcane golem is going to try to run back to tower. He will get away. Um, both bot lane players are making a move onto mid lane. Wayne has seen them, um, and as such, Bird Person is choosing to play by the tower. Um, Arcane Man, again, at risk, pushed by the jungler. Jungler getting counter pushed by Scythe Boy, Wayne's jungler. Um, just trying to get back and get safe. Um, but it looks like he left the tower, and that will cost him. Meanwhile, at bottom, uh, faints and parries, faints and parries. Um, and we have three at top right now um, for JWU. So Bird Phoenix here pushing in might not be the healthiest. Here we go. Um, some engagement here at the tower. Damage from Cowman. Uh, but it looks like uh, his support from mid and jungle are falling off. Down here at bottom, again, not a ton going on. Um, and yeah, it looks like that, that kill there is just going to be all that uh, JWU wants. For now, not gonna push the issue too hard. Everyone's uh, heading back to their respective spots. Jungle do jungle things. Jungle do jungle things. Mid bot and up here at top. Um, Cowman is still a level ahead of Robot. And at bottom, um, again, those first two picks are letting them push them farther and farther back to tower, getting that chip damage off. Uh, at mid, uh, Phoenix catches him with an ult under tower. Uh, but it's not enough to do anything real. And the jungler is coming in to help Arcane Man, um, trying to catch Cow Person out of uh, out of position. And it looks like they will end up getting that. Um, again, uh, bot and jungler, or not bot, uh, jungler and mid, who I was looking for just now, have decided to come back try to counter push, but they can't punish it. Phoenix is pushing up bottom. Ice Phoenix, uh, pushing up mid, and then down here at bottom, where clearly I've been trying to go to the whole time doing my slips of speech here, uh, just holding, uh, jungler, chasing back robot, arcane robot, but can't really get him, and that'll bring the score 4-1 to one in favor of JWU. Um, a small engagement over here, uh, the junglers are fighting. Uh, one of them is real, one of them is fake, and Wayne was able to find the real one. Four to two. Down at bottom, um, they are getting pushed out of place. They'll have to regroup. And up at top, uh, Robot is moving back to meet with Cowman. Jungler, still doing jungle things when he's not fighting. And down here, they have managed to regroup. It does not look like uh, JW is willing to force the issue. They might choose to pop the uh, visibility, and they do not. Um, we probably won't see anything um, 
Here's your objective timers for another uh, minute or so when the first uh, Infernal Drake spawns. Uh, anything terribly interesting, at least in team fights. Uh, again, just the back and forth holding points. Wayne is seeing the um, jungler hanging out at mid. And it looks like we are going to be having a grouping uh, towards setting up and getting ready for the junk uh, dragon fight here. Uh, jungler contests it. Uh, and bot is pushed off by the, the force of all four. Uh, with the exception of Cowman, who is perfectly happy to hang out at top. Uh, it looks like Wayne is going to be grouping here. Uh, trying to take this fight. Uh, JW knowing this is going to try to pick off the, the two bot players before they can meet with the rest of the team. And in doing so, they, they couldn't get the damage they wanted and it looks like they're going to get surrounded and picked off here. Um, that being said, if Wayne fights under the tower, they are in for a bad time. Uh, lots of damage back and forth. Uh, we have both entire teams down here, with the exception of Cowman, who is perfectly happy to hang out at top. Um, Wayne fighting under tower, uh, punished for it, distracts the team, however. Uh, and that's one pick for each each team there. Uh, now two for oh goodness, uh, two for each. Um, with Wayne still resurrecting here, uh, they have the advantage uh, three to two down at bottom here. Uh, but worthwhile to note that they are not going to be able to go for Dragon with uh, all this missing health and the enemy still lurking. Uh, they go for uh, maybe they get him. No, he goes under tower and is safe. Uh, and yeah, Cowman forces Arcane Man to come up and contest him. Uh, but yeah, um, blue um, again not going for the dragon yet, uh, fighting the poor bug here. Uh, and we've devolved into a few small fights. Um, Wayne State still not ready to contest the dragon quite yet, uh, and now they're making a run for it. Uh, JSU is going to maybe try to steal up here. Uh, and they got it. They stole the dragon. Um, at the cost of the jungler's life, he was able to take the dragon, which is a big deal. Uh, Chemo Fog is billowing, uh, whatever that means. And, yeah, uh, that's the trade that JW is looking for. Uh, they've stolen the dragon. They've they've uh, traded pretty effectively one to one. Now it is uh, seven to five with those two picks down here at bottom earlier. Um, Cowman fights away Arcane Boy, and yeah, we are going to continue to see engagements. But Wayne State College is certainly on the back foot at this point. Uh, they do manage to kill the poor bug. Uh, We'll likely see him later, probably pushing up top, which is a fairly weak tower at this point. Uh, but yes, back into heal from Wayne. Um, and they are still only behind 1,000 total gold, but positionally, they don't have as much health on their towers. Uh, their characters aren't, well, they're around the same, except for Cowman being two levels higher than Arcane over here. Uh, Money-wise, they're only $2,000 behind and two kills behind. Again, those first two here at the beginning were quite a big deal. Um, but they are behind two dragons, which is a spooky place to be if you're Wayne State College. Junglers are doing jungle things. Um, bot players moving separately, one at the back. Um, and it looks like they might be grouping up for something on mid here. Uh, with engagement over here between the two junglers. Uh, puts a ward down, sees the other ward, they fight. Kills off the copy. And yeah, we've got um, 2v3 here on mid here in a second if uh, JW decides to contest this. But it looks like our jungler is just going back to doing jungle things. 
up top. Um, again, a two level difference between the two. Uh, over here at mid, Thresh is stumbling in on something he really doesn't want to see, and if he can't get out of there real quick, he's going to be fighting four, four opponents. Uh, I'm going to put you on direct camera for a second, and I'll be right back. Alright, uh, sorry about that. We are right back. Um, Red has lost their top turret, and it looks like there's going to be a engagement down here with um, this guy cut out of place burning his flash, and all of Blue Team is going to capitalize on that, making him very sorry for being down there very quickly. Uh, that's another positional thing for uh, Blue Team. They were able to catch him out. And... Uh, Red team might be making an attempt uh, against here. They really do need to counter push because uh, Big Bug Man, with his pent up aggression at losing his father, is gonna be doing a lot of damage to that tower. Uh, red team, as we saw last game, might be losing two towers uh, per area here. And yup, um, JWU is going to snag this second dragon. Um, they're going right in for it. Uh, Wayne State doesn't have the position to contest him, and they're just going to get it. Uh, yeah. By the looks of things, that's going to be three, three dragons for uh, JW. JW, um, again, pretty far ahead here. Uh, got three dragons. Their next one's going to be the Elder Dragon. Maybe. And yeah, it's not looking great for Wayne State. They might only be two kills behind, but they've lost two towers and t three dragons. One of them just being stolen. Uh, that was a pretty big deal in the pace of this game here. Uh, again, just a little bit of back and forth uh, between them. Uh, moving on bottom. Maybe we'll see some fighting on mid here in a second, but... And there's that fighting on mid I was just talking about. Um, not going in favor of Wayne State as they get two players picked off in that uh, 3v2 without doing enough damage to really force a back there. Uh, that should allow... Um, JW to take Baron if they want it, or just keep pushing mid and getting picks if they can. Um, yep, the, the timeline really really says what's going on here. Um, JWU is not doing well. They're doing. Wayne State is, despite their performance in the last game, uh, falling behind. Right now, we might go to game three unless Wayne can really win these team fights or really start scaling. But 
they're fighting under tower. They're getting pushed back. Um, and they're just now both at full strength as well. It's not looking terribly great. Uh, JWU not really interested in the team fight here, actually. They're playing for the picks. They're just trying to get ahead that way. And they're just spreading out to play more uh, traditional positions. Probably, probably holding those fights for when they can get their next Drake. Drake, Dragon, whatever you want to call them. Uh, and Wayne just has to match that pace. They have to defend. Um, yeah. There's not a ton to be said at this stage of the game. Uh, just the general back and forth. Become one in death. Another instance of Wayne getting caught out here at mid, um, and the 3v1 with Thresh too far away to do anything. That positional uh, push that JWU is getting uh, allows them to get a pick, and if you take a look at the minimap, they are going to capitalize on that by going for Baron. Wayne State may try to steal, may try to harass, but it's, it's not looking terribly great. Um, it is a 4v5 here, with Baron uh, putting out some damage. So Wayne might be able, and they're putting damage in as well. Forcing them off, uh, with Baron at half health. Waiting for that damage to come in, and this... Well, I was going to say this is an excellent fight. Um, trading 2 for 2 so far. Um, but it looks like JWU is gonna just clean them up. And that is 3-4 um, now down for Wayne State, while only taking taking 2 in exchange. They do deny the Baron, but at the cost of almost your entire team here, is it really worth it? If they can get a few more picks, and no, yikes. That is the whole team down for Wayne State. Uh, bringing the score 16-8. to eight. Um, 5,000 more Buckazoids for uh, JWU. And again, they're taking that commanding position and making it even more so with their three dragons and pushing that Baron, forcing Wayne to respond. Um, we'll probably see a push up one of the lanes or pushing Baron again, just to force that fight that Wayne knows that they really cannot take. Uh, that positioning where Wayne gets... Uh, 1v3, they really need to look out for that. Um, trying to play play lanes at this point in the game is going to result in those those big swingy fights that we're down a man for. And as you can see here on mid, we're having exactly that. Thresh uh, going out on his lonesome and getting caught out by the team. They just don't have the mobility to uh, stay away. Wayne pushing the team fight though. This is a, a pretty big one. That's that's one down. Wayne's still looking pretty healthy. Two down now. Uh, this this is the fight they were looking for. That's that's a two for three trade. That'll shut down the momentum. And oh, that that's that last pick there. If they can get him here, and no, uh, the jungler side man does end up missing it. Uh, Wayne is trying to solo a dragon here. They are there. They're doing their job here. They fight them all. Um, and they're going to get their first break 25 minutes into the game. Uh, like yep, yeah, the, the score is now 19-12 with um, just $3,000 between. So that fight was very beneficial for Wayne, especially given that they were finally, finally able to take a dragon buff. Um... Both teams are going to be full strength here in 10 seconds. Wayne is currently up a player. Uh, but there's not a ton they can do with that right now. Uh, just given how much of an adva advantageous position JWU was in and is still in to quite an extent here. Um, sheep man, and we've got three on mid now for Wayne. Um, Playing for a pick, probably going to try to take this tower here. 
Uh, JWU is looking like they're regrouping here to stop them from going any further. But Wayne State College is happy just taking that for now. Um, again, JWU thinking about Baron. Uh, it went well for him last time when Wayne tried to dive him. But it is really these, these positional things where if you get caught out in mid by the whole enemy team and you die, that that's a whole player you're not having for that team fight. And it becomes more and more risky to play separately uh, when you know your opponent is playing together like they are doing. Because you just don't have the, the response time or the mobility as Wayne to get out of there or um, keep living. Uh, jungler, doing jungle things. We've got four, um, and Thresh, Thresh again, uh, poking at the bear here. Uh, all five JW people are somewhere near mid, and Wayne is scattered. If there's a fight under this tower right now, if JW pushes it, it it's not going to be a great time. Uh, Wayne's not going to be able to get there. JW, of course, doesn't know this, and is, is backing, is not contesting this here. Just happy to, to hold mid to tell Wayne, no, you're not going to push any farther. Uh, one in death. Wayne State uh, potentially moving. Uh, for Baron here, JWU, just happy to stay. Clearing out those wards to get that visibility uh, for, for Wayne. Uh, and yeah, we will we'll see here. Blocking off those angles. Arcane Man is backing here. Uh, but yeah, it... Wayne just trying to take a look for those wards to see if he can guarantee that. Uh, that was Scythe Man, the jungler. Yep, that's Wayne's jungler. And it's, it's shaping up to be a, a pretty large fight. Um, Arcane Man, not terribly useful back there. Um, he is getting into position to ready up for this fight here. But still contesting mid, uh, thinking about Dragon in two minutes, and no one is really willing to attempt Baron without a pretty good team fight. Um, JWU looks like they want to get that position in for the Dragon. Um, that'll be their... Uh, their fourth dragon, which pretty important, uh, pretty handily spells the end of the game. Um, and that's Arcane Man getting caught out. Um, been talking about how Wayne needs to look out for the five, the five team members just camping there. And, uh, they might be deciding to contest it, but uh, they're taking blue buff away. Jungler can't do jungle things. With Dragon in 50 seconds, we are going to see a fight here on mid uh, with Wayne grouping up 4-5 now and JWU grouping up as well. Uh, they do have the more advantageous position, but if Wayne decides to loop around and flank him, it could be pretty problematic. Uh, there's Jungle Man living in the trees, obviously, and someone's going to make the first dive here. Right now we're just seeing pot shots back and forth, but... Once we get in the melee range, um, we'll, be, we'll be looking at some excellent fights. Uh, again, 20 seconds till the dragon spawn, so either Wayne is going to have to give this up, JWU is going to just attack the dragon, or someone's going to burn you till and trigger the fight, and there it is. That's a lot of damage to Wayne right away, uh, and it looks like one's going down, potentially two here. Yep, um, and Blue here, JWU, is taking that four piece, and that's going to let him just take the dragon. Uh, desperately trying to survive our Phoenix man, but that's the, the whole Wayne team. Um, that's not looking good. They might just run straight over to Baron and take that uncontested. And yeah, that's exactly what it's looking like. Um, again, Wayne State finds themselves three dragons behind, 5k gold behind, and that's half their enemies' kills. Um, the pace of this game is not in favor of Wayne State College right now. 
JW, on the other hand, is doing excellently on finding those positional weaknesses, taking the, uh, taking the advantage, taking the advantageous fights, getting that extra money, and um, playing slow until they can do so. Um, by the looks of things now, um, JW is going to want to get that Elder Dragon in uh, five minutes. And unless the game ends before, then it'll come down to that last fight. Uh, JW has Baron buff, getting blue buff over here, jungle do, jungle things. Um, but it is it is not looking great for uh, Wayne State College at this time. Uh, in fact, by the looks of things, uh, JW might just just be walking up, um, ignoring the Baron buff entirely, and just force another team fight from Wayne State while they're they're disorganized, um, getting all the jungle farm. Um, and yeah, if they can force a fight with Baron buff up as well as three dragons ahead, just pushing up the middle, up the bottom, then the game's gonna end real quickly. And it looks like that's exactly what's happening here. Um, JWU walking up the middle, hitting the towers, demanding a response, which Wayne State College just cannot give. Um, that's that's three down, four down, and JWU is just going to walk through and take this game from Wayne State College. That's all of Wayne State dead. They're not spawning back in for another 30 seconds. And that's going to be enough time for JW to do enough damage that it's really not going to matter. Um, yep, it's it's looking like we are going to go to game three here in the semifinals um, with JW putting up an excellent game um, position-wise as well as um, just being able to capitalize on those fights. And that is the game over, yeah. Uh, we will be right back from um, our intermission here. Uh, expect our next game to happen in uh, 10, 15 minutes. And I will see you guys then to break down round about what happened. But go get a drink, get a snack, uh, bring your favorite caster a snack. I'm terribly hungry. And I'll see you guys when the next match begins.
So we are um, getting close to uh, starting our third and final game here. Um, so just before we do, uh, everyone, get a snack. Uh, we'll be here for probably another hour or so. Um, get some water. I know I've done both of those things. Um, just to recap our last game, um, the JW was able to um, get that momentum. They were able to steal that second dragon. And uh, from there, they were able to uh, end up closing out the game pretty quickly with um, some pretty favorable fights. Uh, they were able to snag those uh, positional advantages um, and get those, those picks that allowed them to take those those big uh, 4, 4v5, 5v4 team fights. Um, so it was it was much much better play from them. Um, the jungler able to snag a dragon um, was, uh, in my my opinion, the uh, the whole turning point of that game there. Um, so we are gonna go go back and forth. Um, the sides have switched, so Wayne will be on blue and uh, JWU will be on uh, red team this time. And this is our uh, final game for the semifinals. So uh, best of luck to both teams, and I can't wait to see how it plays out.
Uh, to answer your question, uh, TS Charf 30, uh, there is no Silas, and you can be sad. Um, the teams, um, Morton Kiner, Void Bear, Jacelyn Kogma, and Lulu for uh, Wayne State College. And then Vladimir Shako, Malthasar, Vance, and Leona for um, uh, JW. Uh, Leona and Mordenkaiser are the only two that we've, uh, and Jace actually, are the only ones we've seen earlier. Um, it's looking like each team is just uh, banning um, whichever player you know they were doing well with for the other team. And uh, sadly, Cowman uh, will not be making his appearance for Game 3. Um, unfortunately, he was banned, um, first ban, and will not be here to um, grace us with his wonderful presence. And no, there's still not Silas, actually. Um, sadly, Silas was not chosen by either character. Uh, and actually, we are going to be getting into the game right now. Um, we've, we've chosen our teams, we've gotten our snacks, and, um, now it is time to, to get going. Um, it, it should be, a, an interesting game three. Um, again, Wayne is on blue. And, uh, out here on red, red team is, uh, JWU. So, with that in mind, let's get going. Uh, Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Thirty seconds until minions spawn. Um, again, we see the the group up from Wayne State College here, uh, potentially trying to to get a pick. Um, if only they could see where, well, where they're hanging out. Um, Bumblebee Boy is, is jumping, dancing, hanging out in honey. Uh, but yeah, we will we'll see what happens. Um, lying in wait like an ambush viper is Wayne State College. And yeah, um, just trying to get that early pick. Um, those two early picks were so devastating. Um, game two, uh, so helpful for JWU. And neither team is going to be um, pushing in. Uh, uh, pretty traditional um, jungle doing jungle things with uh, the bot players. Um, mid and top both have established. Red buff here, who will level up for the jungler, and uh, Rudolph the, the red-nosed scarab beast is walking about, I haven't seen that one before. Uh, and then actually in uh, opponent's jungle is JWU, uh, denying that farm, getting those kills, doing some damage here. Uh, we do have some engagement down here on bot lane. Uh, this was a big point of contention earlier. And actually, the jungler taking blue buff is a pretty big deal, as it looks like uh, Wayne State's going to be looking for that now. Uh, one low health down at bot, and uh, really not willing to push. And, yeah, uh, here we have looking for blue buff. Uh, can't find it. And, yeah. That's, that's rough for Wayne State, but there's not a ton they can do about it. Uh, they think about maybe he's he's going to be pushing top or bot, but he has backed, and he's just going to keep farming for this early part of the game. Uh, bot, nothing terribly interesting. Uh, looking to double push mid, but didn't call him out there. And then up here at top, um, we see the return of Axeman fighting uh, actual Va Dracula. Uh, should be interesting. Um, again, trying to get that flank, but they will be revealed by the ward. And Bumblebee Boy should be able to get out of here. Uh, he's been stunned. This might be first blood. Uh, and there he goes down. Uh, their jungle 
Uh, comes in. Uh, not sure if he burned flash there or not, uh, but we can check. It's within my power. He did not burn flash because he doesn't have flash. Uh, oh, hold on. I've teleported us back in time, and now we are now rather than then. Um, again, just jungle doing jungle things. Um, down here at bot, um, pushing in, maybe wanting a fight, but falling away from the tower. With uh, jungler playing around as well. Um, maybe going to go for the team up on Vlad. And again, trying to call him out of position here, but Wayne has learned from last time, and they are falling right back to the tower so they can't get flanked again. Meanwhile, on mid, uh, Bumblebee Boy is pushing Hammer Man with uh, their Wing State jungler behind him. Um, he did get picked last time he was out of position like this, but it looks like just uh, the farm is going to be enough. Uh, down here, Wayne is taking that fight now that they can't get called out by the jungler, who's coming in to help him. Um, falling back to tower, uh, they might actually get the jungler. No, he's going to get away here. But Wayne did get that second pick, and that puts him up two kills already, uh, just five minutes into the game. Uh, top is still just pushing back and forth here, um, and mid much the same. Uh, junglers still doing jungle things, murdering poor wildlife. And yep, um, Dragon is spawned already, um, but neither team is of a high enough level nor a, uh, a confidence of having the, the player advantage to really go for that quite yet. Uh, we might see some grouping up there in the future, but so far, uh, not entirely sure. Uh, up here at top, um, they're thinking maybe there's a jungler up here, but it's looking like it's just going to be back and forth there. Uh, and actually, uh, the Thresh up here, or who is this? Mordenkaiser. No, he does not get the kill. Vlad decides to, to back, burning more of his health. Um, and he's actually full backing just to get that recovery. Uh, Hammer Man at the same time is backing on mid to recuperate some mana. And down here at bottom, uh, there's some back and forth going on. The, the jungler is you know, not going for the dragon. In fact, he's uh, coming to maybe call these two out of position and uh, get that flank. Uh, Unfortunately, they are they are far enough back that engaging them would mean being under the tower, which is not uh, not beneficial. Uh, jungler up here at top, maybe going to make a play with Vlad on uh, Mace Man, and then we also have three at bot here. Um, and I did miss it, but Wayne did get the kill on one of the bottom players with their jungler here. Though they don't look like they're going to continue pushing it. And actually, as I said earlier, they are going for Dragon. At the same time, up at top, uh, the jungler as well as Vlad are making a play on Mordkaiser. Uh, Morty is maybe going to be able to get this pick here, but he is going to go down. Um, yeah. It, and again, the dragon just went down. There's engagement there. But Mordenkaiser did lose, and he was not able to uh, take either one of them down with uh, Vlad's ability to uh, deny damage and run away, as well as the, the jungler's DPS there. It was too much for him. Uh, three to one, but Wayne State does have the first dragon, which is important for their momentum. Mort is coming back here, pulling him in, stopping the creep advance. Down at bot, uh, both had to back. And at mid, uh, our jungler here for JW is going back. And Hammerman is just walking up, um, buffing himself and moving into into range of the tower here. B boy is coming back and is going to force him off, but not before he breaks the the plating there. Up here, uh, Mordkaiser again fighting, um, not able to hook him, and so that fight kind of stagnates there, just taking creeps, taking little idiots. Down here, scanning for wards. Um, but again, we are pretty um, pretty slow outside of that one dragon kill um, here at the eight minute mark. Uh, another fight at bottom, but they're not gonna. They're just gonna push them off for now. Uh, meanwhile, at middle, uh, both junglers are waiting to make a play here, waiting for someone to get out of position, someone to push farther than they should. 
And it's it's looking like that's going to be JW coming in to take a pot shot. Uh, we have Wayne State's jungler over here waiting as well. Meanwhile at bottom, uh, people have gotten back into position, staying back and forth. And Mordekaiser's actually going for the bug extermination contract already. Um, that is a, a reasonably big deal if he can get it. And their jungler is coming in to help him. Um, outside of that, jungler do jungle things. And then uh, Vlad up at top is just hanging out. And yeah, that'll do it. Um, they've finished the extermination contract and they have the bug friend to boot. Uh, JW's jungler comes to see what's up, but he's a few minutes too late. And uh, Hammerman is again back in for mana. Meanwhile, at bottom, Wayne State has pushed up even more now that they see that um, JW's jungler is not there. Gets a little damage on the, the tower and then falls over to mid. Uh, potentially making space for um, the dragon fight or trying to um, get over to mid here. But it looks like they're just going to go back to B now that they've um, ensured that the jungler isn't there. Uh, the ward does expire, there's no more visibility. And uh, Mornkaiser hanging out at top. Uh, still has the, the egg here, not using it. Uh, they see They see the jungler over here. And they are, they're falling back to the tower. They don't want to get caught out in a position like they did last game. Uh, Mort fighting Vlad again. And then over here on mid, it looks like this tower is going to get pushed gently. Uh, B-Man is going to contest that. And there, there's the, the little bug man. Uh, clearly very upset that his parent was murdered. Vlad has pushed off the tower. And it looks like Top is going to take some hefty damage, if not fall right now. Glad powerless to stop it. Uh, meanwhile, at bottom, there's been a fight going on. Uh, they are not going to be able to get that pick, but they do push him off. And then at mid, Hammerman, pushed by um, the jungler, who's copied himself, uh, certainly did some damage. Uh, they're fighting Vlad, but aren't willing to go under the tower. Uh, they get some damage, and B-Man is here to alleviate that. Glad getting away, not getting away. Uh, the bear does die to B-Man. Meanwhile, the top tower is taking heavy damage, and down here in the south, the contention still goes on with uh, both JWU players having lower health, uh, not being able to take that fight. Tower is low, and um, Born Kaiser is able to get away. Jungler comes back. Yep. And Hammerman was able to fight off the jungler earlier. I know we had to leave that fight briefly, but. That was the end result there. Wayne State is up two kills, up one dragon, and up $3,000 at this stage. But we saw in game one and game two how quickly that could change, so it will be... It's still anyone's game right now. Uh, they're begging for visibility over here. They cannot get it, uh, JWU. And both, both end to all three of JWU's towers are notably not healthy. Uh, these early pushes from Wayne State College have been rewarding for them, as well as uh, damaging to the towers. And it's been getting them the kills so far. As long as they can stay out of position, stay away from the, the three VTs, they should be all right. But right now, uh, JWU is looking like they're going to be making some moves over here. And Wayne State College is grouping up for Dragon. Uh, you've still got the Mornkaiser vs. Vlad up here, taking blows back and forth. But this is the real fight we want to be looking at. Uh, the jungler sends a clone in. Clone dies. Uh, Wayne State tries to pop the bug here. And they're not ready to go into the dragon yet because they know for a fact that there's at least four people here. What they don't know is that two of them just backed. Um, B-Man is coming in to maybe contest that. These two went back, bought some items. But if Wayne wanted to right now, and they are, they're going for the dragon. That's going to be the, the second dragon. Um, that's that's four to two, um, and JWU is is fighting it. The hex gates have activated, so that's cool. Um, it looks like a, a big um, slingshot thing to teleport you in faster. And Thresh takes out Vlad up in the north. Down here at the south, you've got both holding the lines, channeling back to uh, get mana, and channeling back to not be out of position, maybe to buy something. 
Um, in the mid, it looks like B Boy is going to get caught out right here. Oh, he chooses to back. Um, we missed that. And then up here, threat. Um, Mordenkiner. Not able to take him out, but the jungler is coming in to try to deny the tower, or save the tower more. And it goes down. Um, Wayne is up five thousand um, dollars, three kills and two dragons. Those dragons are a great way to get ahead in the game, um, and they're also up a tower along with damage. So we'll see. Wayne State sees them moving around with their visibility wards, but not a ton they can do. Um, they are grouped up in the south here. Uh, three here, two on mid. And um, JWU is just playing defaults. Good fight down here at bot, but um, nothing interesting. Uh, they are getting flanked here, which is going to be something to look out for from Vlad. And this is the team fight. Um, it's two more players came in. They could JW couldn't get the three v two, and they lose another uh, another player. Vlad had an excellent flank, but Wayne State College is ready for it, and now they're going to capitalize on it by taking this tower. Uh, they're going to keep pushing, maybe try to get a pick up here. But in general, this is a really strong commanding position for Wayne State College. Um, killing the clones here, denying that blue buff, and pushing the tower. Um, Wayne State gets another kill, picks him off with the pot shot. Uh, JW's trying to flank behind him, but without the turret plating, their tower's going to go down pretty quickly. Uh, they just have to not get caught out of position here. Um, and there goes another one. Um, eight to two. It eight thousand gold ahead. It's not looking great for JWU. Um, Wayne State is not going to keep pushing this. It doesn't look like uh, they know that it's four v five with the towers. It's not something they're confident they can win yet. Uh, they're just going to take all the farm over here on bottom lane and back out. JWU fighting off a little idiots. Um, but that was an, an excellent push for Wayne State College. Um, probably going back to play defaults, wait for an opening again, but it is it is a certainly um, a good day to be a Wildcat. Despite the fact that both teams' mascots is a Wildcat. More on that later. Uh, Wayne State College also potentially going for the, the second little bug of the game. Uh, by the looks of it, yep. Um, JW sees that they're going for this, uh, and they're grouping up to try to deny it, while Wayne State College is also grouping up to, for the team fight. Um, Vlad does have a flank over here. Um, he's given that up. He's moving around. Um, JW lo lo loses one, caught out of position and surrounded, and the team fight happens right here. One down. Uh, Wayne State College putting out the damage. Two Wayne State down. Um, JW do down, uh, both low on health. It's 10 to 5. This is, look, there we go. That's exactly what JW needed. Um, uh, the 3 for 4 trade there, bringing it to 11 to 4. Uh, pretty big deal. Wayne State tries to push out, kill the ward, and um, the sneaky jungler kills him in the process. They're going to take this uh, this bug and probably push it off of that. Um, looking like maybe top here. Uh, Wayne States, um, yeah, hopefully they don't all dive in at once, but they might try to deny this. They might try to capitalize off of this. Uh, but they're not going to be able to stop it. Uh, Wayne State puts in some pot shot damage, but in the end can't get another kill off of that. There's still 5,000 gold ahead, and Dragon is spawning in... Um, Five seconds, one second here it looks like. That's the dragon. Um, but Wayne State's probably going to want to get that. Uh, JWU has the, the big bug, and they are both full strength. Uh, that team fight was excellent, that ace there, um, to get them back into the game. Wayne State College just going for another dragon to scale JWU out of this game. JWC this is going to try to steal. Uh, they get caught out of position, but they have the mobility to get out there. 
Uh, Wayne State College is bunched up, um, but they're gonna separate here. They've got their dragon buff, and yeah, it's it's good scaling for Wayne State College right now. Uh, but if they get in more team fights where they get uh, full wiped for only three kills, it's not gonna be great for them. The the best way to lose a game is to to lose all your characters in a fight you don't win, and they're gonna need to look out for that. Uh, Yep, we are moving up the mid lane here. Um, all of JW is here to contest that. Uh, the 5v5, they're not going to push mid, it doesn't look like. They've, they've decided to uh, play more play more generally, uh, get the farm over here, and um, wait to see an opening before they, they try to push in. Uh, Baron is coming in in uh, 34, and the Dragon's in another 5, another 4 here. State kills off full force creatures, keeps fighting on mid. JW can't really push him off of this. And if Wayne State College can get this tower, that'll put uh, JW even farther back into the in the back lines. Really, it's it's the dragon buffs that are carrying Wayne State College right now. Um, if JW can get that Baron buff, they might be doing all right. We'll be able to take a few fights here, but. Right now, they're not confident they can push in. Um, and Wayne State College is just going about trying to get flanks, uh, trying to make plays here on mid, and waiting for an opening. They also have the, the excellent ability with the, uh, the hex gates to deploy very quickly. Um, planning on pushing bot, it would appear. Um, or distracting there, at least. And we've got a big team fight going on. Um, the clone dies, pushes him back to tower, uh, but it's it's not enough to get a ton of damage off, and it's it's enough to warn a response is the the thing here. Uh, JW's not taking this team fight. They know that this is not going to be advantageous for him. Wayne State, seeing that they're holding back, just takes a turret there, forces him to go farther back, and now WSC falls back. They lose, uh, burns a flash, and as well uh, dies here. Bolts have been popped, and this is the team fight. One down, um, two for Wayne State College, two for JWU. Maybe they'll get the pick going back, and then over here, the jungle dies. Can they get this last one here? Yes, they can. That's three for WSC. Um, the four for WSC, three down, three killed for a JWU. They might decide to uh, push Baron off this, though with only two of them, that's going to be a hard fight. Uh, but with the quick deploys, they might. Not entirely sure. And no, they just want to put more damage, more pressure down mid here after that team fight. Uh, bringing the score, 15-10. Three dragons for Wayne State College, and an extra $7,000 in their favor. Uh, right now, it is looking pretty good for them. Uh, Red team summons up that Rift Herald. Um, let's see where that one is. That's that's just pushing. Uh, where are you, Rift, Her Rift Herald? Uh, we'll find the Bug Boy eventually. Uh, Wayne State College looks like they might be going for Baron, but no, they're just up to protect top from the Rift Herald. That's where it is. Okay. Rift Herald at top. JW trying to push that way, um, knowing they don't have enough to stop a counter push on bottom or mid right now. Uh, Wayne State College tries to catch Bugman out of position here. Uh, and up north here, we've got um, potentially a pretty good fight going on. Um, but Red Team might just give up the Baron, the, uh, the bug. And no, Wayne State College is going to try to pull him underneath the... Um, pull him underneath that tower, fight him there, and hopefully get the pick. Um, Again, Wayne State did get that kill down here, but we're more focused up here right now. Uh, no kills either way, but uh, a fair, fair bit of damage, a um, fair bit of back and forth, and it looks like JWU has to back here. Uh, Wayne State still pushing up the bottom off of that pick on rewind time, and being able to hold top, relieve that pressure is also pretty good for him. Uh, JWU just not being able to find a chink right now. Wayne State is a little out of position here. Um, it could be a 3v1, 3v2. 
Uh, yeah, right here. Uh, he, Hammerman really needs to fall out of this. Uh, he can't contest that. And while Hammerman's distracting, Wayne State College takes their fourth dragon. Uh, and they're taking a team fight off of this as well. They lose one, do a lot of damage, um, but one character for a dragon there is not bad. And that, that was Hammerman, who, remember, was distracting the whole team here, pulling him out of position so that Wayne State could get this dragon. Um, just killing wildlife, getting that farm right now. Um, calming down, don't need to fight him yet. Um, again, you can see both teams moving as pretty large groups here. Um, not wanting to engage. Uh, one second, please. I'll be right back. Sup? Uh, Wayne State taking Baron now. Uh, JW again out of position. They had backed earlier, and they can't really contest this. And I would not be surprised if uh, Wayne State College tries to tries to push straight up mid after they back, uh, purchase their things, and try to end out this game right here before the 30 minute mark. Uh, JW just getting that farm, getting red buff here, playing playing together, but also um, far enough apart that they don't have to um, have to risk, have to contest for objectives as well as risk their own safety. Uh, Wayne State, Hammerman again, just hanging out at mid, baiting the whole team, trying to get that big fight. And uh, the rest of the team coming together to, uh, to support him. JW knows it's bait, and they're not taking it. At this point, Wayne State is um, about a level or two higher across the board. Um, and JW do, JWU is really gonna, gonna need something to turn this game around. Um, because Wayne can just push up with Baron buff here, which is looking like what they're doing to either uh, mid or bot. Uh, JWU, you can see him backing, purchasing things. Um, and it looks like Wayne is trying to decide if they want to go through bot or mid here. Just looking for where JWU is not. JWWU, that, excuse me. Um, and yep, it's it's looking like bottom. Um, they're gonna try to force the team fight here with uh, their jungler and hammer man over there. And they're confident to take this 5v4 with the lower health enemies. Um, they get one. They're gonna get two here. They almost get two. They lose. They lose Mitch. Mitch goes down. But they find um, Vlad out of position. Make quick work of him, and they're just gonna keep pushing for it. They're making an attack that demands an answer, and with only two players left, JWU cannot provide that answer. Answer. Take that. Take that barricade. Um, B man desperately trying to trying to distract. But they don't have the team numbers on the field right now, and they won't for another 20 seconds. Wayne State College is just walking through, and it's looking like this is going to be the game right here. That would be uh, Wayne State College taking the semifinals, taking out the enemies, um, and now they're moving on to the Ancient, putting all the damage into it, and that is the game. Wayne State College has um, finished up the semifinals here. Uh, with a victory over JWU, and we'll be moving on to the finals. Um, let me real quick find my my ending stream. Uh, da, da, and I'm going to leave this up for a few minutes while you guys get to uh, finish up the game. But yeah, that has been the uh, Wayne State College... Um, State College uh, semifinals versus JWU. Thank you guys for stopping by, um, and we'll have uh, commentary for the finals once we get there. Have a wonderful day, everyone.